Hello everyone, it's John from Rain. I hope you are doing well. Uh, this weekend I would like to do a small video quite uh, to, to recap or to summarize uh, the, the price action of the, of the last week, especially with the massive move we had on the, on the DEX token. We spoke about the DEX token uh, last week in our video as well, but especially on uni, uh, the, the, the move was massive with, with plus 70, 80% in intraday session. It's a, a long time we didn't have so uh, such uh, momentum on the altcoin. So, uh, it's quite a key, key takeaways from uni because uh, we can see also on other thematics such as EI coin or DeFi coin that there is some significant, significant trigger in the price actions calling for a massive alt outperformance following by the, the ETH outperformance ahead of the uh, ETH ETF uh, approbation from the ACC probably in May. So we, we can see that something is happening in a momentum and the, the, the seasonality of the altcoin uh, should be now starting ahead of the BTC halving as well. So we're going to check the, the last key element on the driver as well, BTC and ETH. And I would like to speak about some key configuration also, uh, as I used to do on those token that I was uh, spoken during the last week and the new token that we have to focus on this week. So the key takeaways for, for the weekend and for the next week will be the, the BTC and the ETH that they are already on track for new push up. Uh, I will show you the range dynamic in progress and you will see it's quite uh, it's quite easy to understand. Just is the, the, the follow up of the ticket aways that we show uh, last week as well. Uh, the ETH outperformance from the ETH BTC ratio looking uh, or showing some configuration regarding the alt strong push up expected. And within the alt, uh, we have done a selection for you guys. So the, the DEX uh, token with Unicake Sushi, the EI coin with Fed, GRT, and UCN, uh, the DeFi thematic also with uh, Curve, Phil, Comp, Heavy, and Rune. And for those guys who are looking for high volatility, quite risk token uh, for the short term configuration, we have something to show you on bond and amp. That uh, last week also showed some significant upside reversal move on AMP especially. So let's go ahead with this program today. Uh, so let's start with the, the BTC guys. Uh, BTC, as you know, we are following uh, the configuration of the mid to short term basis. So the story is still the same. Uh, channel dynamic, we are expecting a break above the upper part of the channel. The idea is to surpass 53,260 uh, uh, figure for the coming days prior of the halving. The key support on the midterm horizon remain the 47,200. The key elements are still in the green because RSI is still progressing in the positive area while the moving average are accelerating to the upside, supporting the market at 49,400 and 47,400 on a daily basis. We are speaking about the shorter one, the 21 days and the 34 days. So for the time being, all green uh, for the, for the um, uh, I would say for the Bitcoin to uh, print higher for the coming days regarding the mid to long run uh, technical element. Right now, let's switch uh, within the, the short term configuration. So the short term configuration on the three hours chart basis, you can see uh, we are still uh, evolu evaluating in the trading range pattern with the flat pattern ongoing here. We defined the 50,800 as a perfect buying area that we saw last week. RSI indicator are challenging the uh, would say neutrality area that it done also in the previous consolidation. So here also no 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 bearish or I would say like a geopardized element to to see a non progression of the BTC to the upside for the coming days. So watch at the upside breakout of this flat pattern to activate the momentum to the next target, meaning that the 56200 is not too far anymore regarding this imminent bullish exit from the uh, range configuration on the short term basis. Keep in mind 49,700 remain the key support to watch for this beginning uh, of the next week. Uh, regarding the ETH configuration right now, ahead uh, also of the news flow ongoing with the uh, ETF, ETH appropriation by the ECC calling for a um, May big approval for the for the ETF on this asset. As you can see, this one is outperforming the Bitcoin because the RSI is clearly in the positive area with uh, potential to the upside uh, on the three hours chart basis. Uh, I will just come back quickly to the long term element on the daily chart basis to make 
make you more understandable the, the price action. So basically, the next target is 39.50, 33.80. So you see that we have still a range uh, to go higher on this one, uh, especially after a quite official uh, approbation for the, 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 the governance of the ACC regarding the ETH, uh, uh, ETF we can see then a clear upside acceleration to this area. So ET, uh, the, the Ethereum will right now uh, act as a driver for the alt season. And we, uh, we hope that this movement could be triggered prior to the halving as well to align also Bitcoin price action to ETH price action around the 60K area with the BTC in the coming weeks. So that's quite a, a clear, crystal clear configuration for the Ethereum and no, no bearish element on the time being uh, regarding the current price action configuration. Let's go back with the three hours chart basis on Ethereum just to define you the new daily support updated today at 28.20 prior it was 27.90. So basically you can see here that the, 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 the minimum risk what you can see here if we let a three times wave up pattern such as uh, I would say a corrective move within a range configuration you will understand uh, soon that the, 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 the only risky uh, area that we can find to the downside, if we are not able to surpass this blue area, it's to basically double this move here after having done the three wave pattern here to go back here before going up. So direct rise or range before rise, uh, that's the idea for this week. Uh, we're going to watch uh, the reaction of the market approaching this blue area, which is not, I would say, highlighting and a risky area uh, on the chart, on the analysis for now, because we consider that the way for has been already triggered. And right now we are developing the fifth waves toward the uh, 3200 without any significant risk before this area. So keep in mind, uh, this one uh, would uh, anyway uh, trading in the better uh, performance than the Bitcoin regarding the uh, ETH BTC ratio that I show you uh, right now. Uh, ETH BTC ratio, it's really important to watch because it's activating the upside down volatility on the alt season. So you can uh, remember huh, we have a long term run BTC outperformance, then a squeeze for the ETH outperformance and a new phase uh, since one year and a half uh, of uh, ETH uh, underperformance uh, versus the BTC. But now since this huge reaction in the bottomish area, we have a clear preference to see a larger ETH new outperformance versus the BTC activating around plus 17% uh, bullish move on this ratio, which is help uh, the, the, the group of tokens that we were speaking about uh, in the introduction, I remind you, uh, regarding this ETH outperformance, uh, the alt uh, would also trigger a strong push up, especially from the DEX, EI, DeFi, and the bond and AMP token. So let's swap toward this uh, thematic and then we will see where to get an attention for the coming hours. So let's go back right now with the DEX configuration. So DEX configuration, I will show you quickly uh, one inch to, to, to start. Uh, I forgot to, 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 to put it in the introduction key, key takeaways, but one inch for the time being is also presenting a nice configuration. The key tactical support has been tightened at four, uh, 0 0.40. Uh, we are right now in the setback area. The idea is to print higher towards 0 0.65 and 0 0.96 in the coming days, coming weeks. So for the time being, uh, quite interesting configuration as a buyback. Uh, right now, it's the time to reinforce uh, on this token one inch. Cake is also presenting an interesting configuration after having reached the first target defined last week at 3.25. The idea is to progress towards 5.60 with quite strong conviction. RSI is still showing upside potential. Moving average are accelerating to the upside. Maybe if you want to define a first key area to watch on the short run, you can uh, already uh, watch at it this area of 2.93, 3.03 meaning that the tactical support can already be adapted as on the overlap area of the wave one in progress. Uh, just to highlight the configuration of the uh, wave one, you have here one, two, 
here the wave three ongoing four and five. Okay, so we don't know exactly where the wave three will stop before the wave four and the wave five, but the dynamic is there and the overlap uh, of the wave one is right here. So it's quite clear for um, Cake that the, the token will also trade uh, to the upside in the, in the coming days with a larger rise expected at least to retest the preview stop here triggered uh, as a first step, graphical step to have in mind. So uh, you can be confident on this one and you can be more exposed in your portfolio regarding this configuration uh, on cake. Uh, so keep in mind 2.60 uh, as a key support for the week uh, in order to buy the dip, uh, any dip above this support of 2.60 uh, to consider now uh, an opportunity to accelerate to the upside. Sushi configuration as well, uh, reach the first key uh, resistance defined at 160. So right now the dynamic, huh, you remember it's to double at least the impulsion of the wave one reported to the bottom of the wave two, uh, highlighting a first resistance area uh, to the 2.70 uh, exactly. So that is quite the free lunch, free lunch trade to do. As long as the market remains for the timing above 1.39 is the first key support to watch uh, on the mid to short run. Uh, the alternative risk scenario is to double this range area, okay? That means that in case of 1.39 penetration, we're gonna dip lower before going up, but you see on the mid to long term run, uh, the dynamic is clearly to the upside for the, for the bull run. So don't hesitate to accumulate exposure also on Sushi because all those area defined is really clear. And I think right now, if we let the significant uh, consolidation move here as it must be more probable, uh, normally no reason to retrace uh, longer than the 1.39 area to see the direct bullish move, okay? So sushi, one inch, cake, uh, that's the, the key, the key uh, uh, token to watch. Uniswap, so the famous one uh, for the last week, surged totally with plus 80% on intraday basis, we, we see it, it saw our defined target at 12.20, uh, so then it's completely natural and quite easy to see uh, a consolidation from there. Uh, if we watch on the short term uh, basis, you see we have already a first natural correction here in three wave down. So we're gonna watch this area of uh, 10, 10 to 9.50, I would say, for the buyback to try then to retest the previous stop. Then we will see if the market can directly go up or if we need a new downside move here to compose a trading range before going up. But anyway, as sushi, as cake, this one right now has all the green light on the middle run to see a strong bullish acceleration. Take care because as we can imagine, this one surged quite fast. So I will not surprise if now Uni will strain quite rangy to wait that the other token from the same thematic have the time to raise and to be aligned with Uni uh, because the news flow has been already uh, consumed by in the market. So we could see maybe a, 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 a non-alignment with the other um, DEX configuration uh, while the, the market has the time to align all the tokens of the thematic, so take care. But anyway, uh, we're gonna watch the price action. If we have a chance to get uh, a deeper consolidation toward this area, would be perfect actually to really reinforce uh, the portfolio on uni for the time being. I think it's make a little bit more sense to expose your uh, portfolio to this thematic through sushi and cake, which have still a short to near term upside potential to, to trigger maybe for the middle of the next week. Right now, uh, let's go back with the next one, the EI uh, thematic with Fed, GRT and uh, Ocean. So for this token, uh, it's quite clear as well, but it's uh, since a while right now we are speaking about them. So FET, you remember, uh, it is also a token that we push in our uh, Telegram uh, on the research channel of RAIN. So don't hesitate to, to follow us as well. I will put the, the link in the, in the comments. So this one has been updated as well. Tactical supports uh, raised to 0.77 to 0.83 to protect the long position. Here, as you can see on a daily chart basis, we let an AMA uh, on the test of the buying area. Uh, it's maybe not enough for FED to, 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 to push from there. Maybe it will need a second leg, you see, as, 
as maybe the trading range is not finished and the moving average are still far. But anyway, from there or from there, you find here a key support area to accumulate bullish position and at least to play in a common part 1.36 and 1.95, which is clearly the free takeaway uh, for the pre bull run mode uh, for the for the EI. And then just to give you an idea of the long run configuration, the idea on fait is to double all those movements. Okay, so A, B, C. Okay, that's the auto similar move, and I will give you the ratio in uh, just one second. You will see the potential is quite massive because we're gonna open eight at least for the end of the bull run. So <laughs> make your calculation, guys. Uh, it's about 800% uh, recovery expecting on the long run. So don't hesitate to keep and to hold fat in the portfolio. Don't take profit too early because the, the, the next ride will be quite massive. Uh, and it's just the beginning, I would say, from the long term recovery. Uh, Ocean as well uh, is in uh, right now buying area, reinforcing area. Uh, as you can see also on the three hours chart basis, uh, we can't ignore for the time being that the dip will be deeper uh, toward this 1.63, but it's not sharp as we are maybe also probably let a bottom in this area, you see, like uh, as, a, as a trading range configuration. So one, two, three, corrective move, direct rise, okay? That's the first scenario. And the second scenario is like top has been triggered here and we're gonna go down here first, A, B, and then the C before going up, okay? So uh, basically the green light also for this one uh, has, uh, are, are triggered, uh, no, no, I would say risk to see deeper than 0 0.63, 0 0.60. We tight the tactical support into 0 0.55 area to follow the rise in progress to one uh, 1.03 and 1.34 in the first step. Uh, don't forget also this one, the idea as the uh, FED is to trigger a new top uh, regarding the previous top that we has been triggered in the past. I don't have so much uh, historical uh, as not the same as the, the FED, but uh, we can already define a first target as an irregular of this um, crypto winter downside move opening at least the doors toward, uh, I will tell you in one second, towards the uh, four area. So that's the, the long term target defined for Ocean. So keep in mind as well, this one has a huge potential for the long, long term run. Uh, then, to finish with this thematic, let's go on GRT. Uh, GRT, as you can see as well, is uh, progressing to the upside. Uh, the long term run, uh, it's a little bit more easy to define because here we have more more, more, I would say, like potential uh, of more historical to define the upper part of the long term trend. Uh, it's uh, at around five, five a figure. So on the short term run, the idea is to at least to double this, this leg. Uh, we are, we are on track to do it. So minimum 0 0.35. And the uh, irregular ratio around 0 0.50. So clear, clear uh, configuration, moving average are support. Here also the RSI indicator is progressing into the positive area. And as long as the market remains 0 0.21, the accumulation will be done in this area. It's already accelerating, uh, maybe in advance regarding the FET and the ocean mood with this uh, kind of doji uh, to, the, to the bottom of the consolidation. Okay, so we can still see a slight sideways before going up. That's why this area is still defined here before going up or the bottom is already triggered and we are accelerating right now toward the next target uh, for GRT. So really strong conviction on this one as well. Really clear configuration. Don't hesitate to raise the exposure on this thematic. Uh, last thematic to speak about is the DeFi, largely CRV, Philcomp, AV, Rune. I mean, uh, all those tokens are related to, I would say, like liquidity protocol, uh, real world assets, tokenization, uh, and also like kind of, um, I would say, like uh, Oracle and all the thematic, all the component need for the real world asset to tokenization. So it will be the main topic uh, of the next years and that's why those tokens are to follow and that's why it makes sense to compose the 
portfolio with Zoos token as well. So let's go back uh, for first CRV token. CRV last week bypassed our first uh, key resistance at 0 0.58. We highlight the breakout in our Telegram channel before liberating the upside potential to 1 0.64. Uh, a setback is in progress. The buying area has been updated as the tactical support, uh, passing by from the 0 0.48 area to the 0 0.53. So accumulation to play at least the auto similar move toward the 0 0.8120. I remind you, the auto similar move is at least to double this movement to the upside. So that's the free lunch area with strong conviction to reach this part. AV. AV also as well uh, reached the perfect buying area that we highlight the last past three weeks. is progressing to the upside. The confirmation is at 108. Normally, all the green light is there to surpass this resistance and to accelerate toward 158. Look at this beautiful RSI, which by bounced set back uh, to the lower part of the bullish trend line. And now bouncing back around the 50% uh, area. So uh, this one clearly Clearly, it's uh, also really clear configuration, and I will be not surprised to see a significant acceleration that we saw here right now uh, in the coming days, at least to confirm the bullish exit from this uh, bottomish uh, rangy area and to open then the upside bullish breakout toward 307, which is the potential of exit from this uh, rangy area. So strong conviction as well for AV. Uh, compound. Compound as well uh, shows quite uh, interesting configuration on the shorter run. Uh, what I really like uh, is the breakout of the bearish trend line that we have here, you see. Uh, it's mean that for the time being, this uh, ascending corrective move can win in momentum. Uh, I would still, I would say, be skeptical right now to, to, to describe the next move because the beginning of this trend is a bit tricky in order to compose a clear uh, Elliott wave drawing. Uh, I would wait for a little bit more uh, historical data maybe to reinforce my conviction on the reading of the Elliott wave. However, for the time being, uh, is part of the thematic that can also benefit of a strong bullish move. So if we are still in complex corrective move in common part with the ETH uh, bullish move expecting, we can be confident at least to reach this uh, 98 uh, area slash uh, 109, uh, even within a corrective move, we have at least uh, enough momentum to reach here before consolidating another time and to go up, okay? So I like the idea to uh, at least focus on this part of the race for the time being and see after how the, 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 the compound can evaluate and confirm us the, 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 the direction of a very huge impulsive move on the long run, okay? Uh, and then I wanted to speak with you about uh, Phil also that I think it's really interesting. Uh, I spoke a lot of this uh, token in the previous analysis and video, but yeah, last week he, he printed the perfect buyback area here. So I think right now we are progressing to the upside at least to test this uh, top area and before reaching the 15.45 I will be not surprised also to see significant huge move quick and fast so keep in mind this one uh, uh, don't try to optimize the entry because I think the acceleration uh, will looks like that we have here in the past you see it's quite in one or two days the the the, the race is done so you, you don't have the time to to really think about it. so I think right now it's still uh, the, the good the good timing the good pri I mean the good uh, area to 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 reinforce feel and to 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 uh, hope uh, for a, a direct upside move toward this this area uh, last token that I wanted to to highlight with you ah yes excuse me I forgot to speak about you rune so rune also last week some people uh, in the group ask uh, for update so rune as Solana has triggered also a perfect buyback around the moving average so I think right now the, the you see the RSI indicators is really beautiful as well like making a pullback uh, above the 50% area the moving average are support so clearly this one it's time
time to go back uh, after the small correction. It's time to go back on run to print higher towards 6.40 and see if we have the capabilities to trigger the direct rise or to consolidate before going to the next midterm target at 9.80, okay? And now the two opportunities of the week, still uh, the same to focus on is uh, for the first one, AMP. Uh, AMP, you remember, we were targeting this uh, resistance area at 0 0.057. We are in the buyback area. Look where we are today. We are just doing the perfect graphical pullback on the former uh, 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 trading range. So for the time being, uh, I would recommend uh, to accumulate in this area, even if we are reintegrating a little bit, it's not a big deal because basically all this area right now is to consider as a, a reinforcing area to print higher and it will be done quite fast because every time the triggers are done, like here, you see the bullish reaction are quite fast uh, and strong to the upside. So the next target will be to focus on 0.0080 uh, to at least take some profit, uh, meaning that the last uh, final target is around the 0.0105. Okay, so strong conviction on this one as well. And to finish and conclude this video, uh, just a quick uh, look on bond. Bond, it is part also on the interoperability thematic, so it makes sense also relating the DeFi uh, risk on appetite that we can see uh, on the current level. So on this uh, bond token, we are still expecting a significant push-up uh, above the key tactical support at 3.25, at least to retest the 5 and 5.50 area in the common part. So we don't know exactly when he's going to trigger this move, but I really like the idea to accumulate right now in this area because I think the, the long run uh, configuration is still pushing for a trading range between 8.70 and 3. So we are at the lower part of the trading range. Risk reward is more on the buy side. So let's try and see how this token can also benefit from a strong risk and appetite in the coming days.